guys, so I'm really excited to do this video for you because it's my February favorites and I don't know, recently I've been really into favorites videos. I haven't been in the past, but I think as I want to try new products for the spring and stuff, I kind of just start watching previous ones and kind of like get an idea for what I want to get. So I have one, two, three, four. Four, five things to show you today. It's like my holy grail with exfoliating my face because I don't have Clarisonic and um, I do use cleansers with microbeads in it but something sometimes I feel like I need something a little bit more exfoliating. So I found these Eco Tools loofah um, facial sponges. They look like this. I purchased this at Ulta for one dollar. You get six of these for a dollar. So when I first um, purchased them, this is what they look like when you take them out the package. Very thin. You're like, how are you supposed to exfoliate your face with a cleanser with this? Well, you dip this under warm water. And about less than a minute, it turns into this. Um, it's really just poofy. You can see that it kind of grows. It's really thick. Look at the thickness on that. And then on the one side... Of all these I've noticed that it creates this little groove here in the middle where you're able to kind of hold on to your sponge and do your face so that your sponge doesn't fall on the floor because there really isn't any grip um so that way you can get all your dirt out I have been really noticing a difference with using these sponges only because it feels a lot smoother a lot cleaner when I put my moisturizer and foundation on top of that, I feel that my foundation holds a little bit more. So I've been trying to do this maybe at least four times a week, but you really don't want to over exfoliate your face because that will dry it out and then you just have a hot mess. Using these facial pads, um, I had to find a cleanser that was really sensitive to my skin because I'm exfoliating and I really don't want it to dry out. So I've been using the Clean and Clear Foaming Facial Cleanser for sensitive skin. It's an oil-free formula, gently removes dirt, oil, and makeup. And it's... Um, it's clean and clear, but it's Johnson & Johnson, so this is what it looks like. It's a very generic um, cleanser. There's nothing really special to it except it is sensitive uh, for sensitive skin, which is what I have, so that my skin doesn't dry up and my face doesn't feel flaky and stuff. So I've been really loving this facial cleanser. Um, you really don't need a lot on this loofah, maybe one pump. That's why it looks like I haven't used it, but I've used a lot of it. So you just put one pump here and you just gather it on and just start exfoliating. I have always purchased my makeup remover at Walmart. It's the Equitate brand um, compared to the L'Oreal. Well, I went to Target and this one was on sale for $3.99 and it was the eye makeup remover and it was compared to L'Oreal. It's the Up and Out. It's in a green bottle. It looks like this. Um, I really use this a lot to kind of get into the inner corner, the outer corners and the inner corners um, when I have like eyeliner buildup and stuff to take it off and to take the, my makeup off as well before I use my cleanser. This has really helped and I think that it's really comparable to the Equitate one. So if you ever find that this one's on sale opposed to the Equitate, buy this one. They're both compared to L'Oreal and they work sometimes better than L'Oreal. So I've really been loving the Up and Up brand of Target's makeup remover. Next thing I want to mention is a blush that I've been using and when other blushes fail to do their job of being a blush on my face and I feel like I didn't get that achievement of what I wanted on my face with blush, I then go ahead and um, resort back to this one blush that I've always resorted back to. It's like my very first blush that I think I purchased that was a higher end blush. Um, I don't typically consider... Kohl's Flirt Cosmetics higher end, but I do think their quality is amazing. So um, this brand, you can no longer find it, it's Dapple Apple, but they do have other similar colors to this one. And that's what the blush looks like. It's a really, really nice um, peachy, peachy pinky blush. <laughs> that's what I like to call it. Um, so there you go. I think this is a really good blush for the summer, and this is one of the products that I said that um, I like to use like in February just because I kind of want that spring feel on my face. Last thing I want to mention is a nail polish I have been using recently. I mean this, I swear by this polish like once spring hits because it's like my all time favorite color and it's, I have it on my nails right now. And this is the OPI Do You Lilac It. Now if you watched my previous um, favorites videos, I probably have mentioned this once or twice. Um, this polish is coming to the end of its polish. Like, OPIs last a really long time, but I've used this so much, and so has my sister, that it's really not as creamy as it should be because it's, like, not drying out, but it's almost done. So 
I don't know. I think I'm going to repurchase this because I really, really love this polish. This is what I will be using on my nails for the next couple weeks. I know. I'm going to be very boring for the next couple weeks. But I love it. It's a really nice, cute purple. That's what it looks like. I will probably be doing an updated um, nail video from the one of how to grow longer nails in five days. I posted that almost a year ago. And on Monday is my anniversary here on YouTube. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead on Monday and put that video up on Monday to show you um, how long and how I've been maintaining my nails ever since um, using those products that I've mentioned that I still highly recommend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. It's probably a little long only because I kind of rambled a little too much, but hey, I haven't talked on camera for like ever. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.